I love filming here because I feel like my skin blends into the couch. What's up guys, it's Sophie. So normally on this channel, my last video of each year is like a blooper reel. But unfortunately, mid 2018, my Final Cut Pro updated and every single thing before it updated got deleted. So I don't have any bloopers to show you. I have some that will go at the end of this video. But for today's video, as my last video of the year, I decided to do a video talking about trends that I think need to die next year disclaimer most of my videos on this channel are literally just for comedic purposes i genuinely think that these things need to go but um if you don't agree with me that's tough if you get sensitive easily then click out of the video but um yeah that's just a little disclaimer if you aren't subscribed to this channel definitely make sure to do that and also click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload so yeah that's basically it and without further ado let's get into the video Trend number one, cancel culture. Cancel culture, if you don't know what it is, it's basically when a celebrity has done something problematic or said something problematic like years ago and then it's brought up to light on like a social media site like Twitter normally. And then once it's brought to light and like everybody has seen it now, then they're known as quote unquote canceled. Let's just talk about the stupidity of this concept. Number one, how bored, bitter, and broke do you need to be to spend your free quality time searching Searching in the depths of Twitter for problematic tweets, bring them to light, cancel them, and then cancel their apology. Like don't get me wrong, problematic tweets and offensive tweets are offensive tweets and they should be talked about. But isn't the entire point of calling out a celebrity on something problematic that they've done is to get them to apologize, get them to accept what they did, and then to move on. Once a celebrity is seen as cancelled, then that one thing that they said is held against them for as long as it needs to be. Like that's what makes it seem like half of the people partaking in cancel culture don't actually care about the offensive thing that was said. They just simply want retweets for calling it out. And also, we've all done problematic things not to say that they're good but as human beings we make mistakes we learn from them and then we move on when it comes to cancel culture it's like you're not letting the person learn from what they did so it's there's like make it make sense just make it make sense trend number two black fishing what are these white girls on and can I get some seriously yeah have to go like you gotta go you I did not get bullied all throughout middle school for my dark skin just for it to then become a trend. And I get that the intent of these beauty influencers aren't to necessarily become black or to be a different race, but it's just simply not what you look like. It's just not right. Like <laughs> That is not correct. Like imagine if I put baby powder on my face and then just walked out my house. It's just not cute as a trend. Like black fishing, I don't even like the term. Like it's just stupid. It's not supposed to be a trend. Skin color should not be a trend. So the whole entire term, the people doing it. Throw them out. Hey Jordan. He like walked further away from me when I did that. Trend number three, micro cropped hoodies. What purpose does this serve? Like I understand that it's for the look, it's for the fashion, but it just don't look right. Like it just, I'm sorry. It does not look right. Like why is your hoodie so short? It's not even a hoodie though either. It's just like fabric with a hood attached. Like what type of weather is that made for? What season are you meant to wear these in? I live in New York City. It's like the dead of winter over here right now. And I'm over here walking to school in like my ski suit and my oversized coat and my turtleneck. And I see some of y'all walking into school with these micro hoodies and I'm like, girl, I know you're cold. Like it was cute at first, but then once it got colder, I was like, you're still putting it on? Trend number four. This, I just, <sighs> designer clothing that doesn't go together. So yesterday I was by Columbus Circle and I saw this girl that was like drenched in Gucci, Versace, and then she had an off-white belt on. And I couldn't, I, <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. The designer brands are fine. Like Gucci's great, Versace's great. Like 
whatever. But it's more so people that think that buying expensive clothing will then equate knowing how to dress. That's just, that's just not the case. There are such nice outfits that you could build out of high quality clothing. Just putting a bunch of expensive pieces together doesn't make it a good outfit, you know? Number five, jewels. I will never understand why people think they're cool. And then there are the people that don't even think that it's cool, they're just simply addicted because that's what nicotine does to your system. It's really not a good thing to be promoting. It's sad to see how many young ass children are addicted to sucking on metal with chemicals in it. Stop it. Get some help. So those are some of the trends that I think need to die in 2019. If you liked this video or agreed with anything that I said, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, still give it a thumbs up. Comment down below trends that you think need to die in 2019. Anything that I miss, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, enjoy this blooper reel of some of the videos that I've been able to save. I'm like really upset that I didn't have all of my footage because we do this every single year. And this is the first year that we're not. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all very much. And I will see you next year with another new video. Bye. Like, um, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Always sirens. Always sirens. I love how this is just not focusing on me. Like, that's really cute. Um, oh my god, there's like people in the other room. Hopefully they can't hear me or whatever, but like, I'm gonna just film anyway. For today's video, <coughs> um, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm always bending down on my knees for these videos, and my knees, let me tell you, are killing me. Yeah, this definitely looks pink, and it's not, it's not pink, it's mulberry, bitch. I don't understand why it's not focusing on me. Focus!